Hi YouTube. Okay, so I've got a Play Expo video which I'm currently editing, but because of the way the uh, the iPad records, all my videos are upside down. So I have to run them through uh, a converter to put them the right way up. But I've got some uh, films encoding at the moment, which uh, so it's going to be a few days anyway. Well, I don't need to explain why, but there you go. So, but I, what I will do is I will do some pickups because I, I don't think I'm going to pick anything else up this month. I may have a couple of things off eBay, but I'll chuck them into next month's. Um, but I'm definitely not going to have any more this month because I'm skint and it's my daughter's birthday and I'm throwing a party and I didn't understand or I, I didn't realise how expensive birthday parties are. I should have just bought her a, a DS or something, you know, for the price I'm paying for this party. Okay, so... I'll do some pickups from Play Expo 2013, which was absolutely amazing, by the way. Okay, so these are quite cool. Now, people say, oh, uh, these are the shittest games ever, but this one is uh, Kart Challenge on the uh, PlayStation, and this one is uh, Mayhem, also on the PlayStation. Now, these are, it, you know, pristine condition I don't have them so whether or not they're good or not I don't have them they're, they're very good condition but the the main uh, the main advantage of get, picking these up were they were free uh, they were from some stall something to, I don't know something to do with games charity or something but they were given given games away for free um, and you know what there were loads of Mega Drive games and Xbox 360 games and things like that but I already had them so that's why I left them. I just picked up the ones that I didn't have. And I hope other people did the same. And they didn't just bundle them all. Which would have, wouldn't have been very nice. But it was nice of them to give them away. So. That's those. And I've got a, a really good pick up. But I'll save that for the end. I mean. I mean good. You won't believe this when you see it. Uh, okay. So. I've got here. Streets of Rage. Now. I do have another game. Which. I wasn't able to play because I couldn't plug it in. And that's called Bare Knuckle. Now, I think Bare Knuckle is uh, Streets of Rage, but the Japanese version, you see all the writing there is in sort of Japanese and stuff, and on the back it's all <laughs> Japanese-y, and the cartridge doesn't fit either. So, yeah, so there you go. Streets of Rage, which I don't have in my collection. Well, I don't have any of these in my collection. That's why I got them. So, so I went down to Canterbury as well uh, and picked a few of these up. So, right, let's uh, let's go through these. So we've got X Mutants. This is EX Mutants, not the X Men. Uh, something along the lines of uh, that your. Well, I could read the description uh, as I've got some glasses now. Um, something about uh, I don't know, battling evil. I'll do a review. We will see what it is. Uh, what else we've got here then? Yep, Dynamite Heady. Now these all say uh, 10 quid, but where I got them from, I'd, I'd done deals with all of them, and, and they worked out to be about £6 each for, for if you if you added them all together and then uh, divided them. It worked out to be about £6 each that I actually paid, even though most of them do say £10. We've got here Pac Mania, which... Looks like Dr. Mario. Very strange. I'll definitely give that a go, but it's it's not Pac-Man. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this came this morning. This is uh, from eBay. So this is Mercs, which is a nice, uh, I think it's a side-scroller. Looks all right. Now, this is an odd one. This is Spider-Man. Now, when I was going through my list about... about what I have and what I don't have. Spider-Man is not on my list. Now on the back, it does say uh, that the Kingpin has uh, unleashed uh, something, uh, a bomb in the city or something. But it doesn't say versus Kingpin on here. And there are other games where it's, it's on the front, it's got Spider-Man versus Kingpin. But this just says Spider-Man. It's just like Spider-Man. And it's published by Sega. It's you won't be able to see, but but down here it's published by Sega. It's not a claim, which is what the Kingpin one is. So I'm I'm really curious about this one. That is it is it something I don't know, maybe rare. <laughs> but 
but to see Spider-Man on its own, I can find Kingpin everywhere. I can't find just a normal, just just Spider-Man. Very strange that. Um, I hear bad things about this. I've not actually played it, but uh, Transbot. That's on the Master System. I got it because I think it was uh, uh, Kimball Justice was talking about it, so I thought oh, well, I'll just Google it and have a look, and, and sure enough, there it was. Here we go. Urban Strike. Now that's the last one of my Strike games, which uh, which so I don't I don't need. It. And I've also got Nuclear Strike, which is on the PlayStation One, so that's even a, another one to the series, but obviously not Mega Drive. And I'll just skip to this one, which is uh, Micro Machines Military, and again that is also the uh, the last of the Micro Machines collections for the Mega Drive that I needed. And this is the one where you can do four players. So this I got from again play expo a um, little bit gutted because I, I it was up for 18 pound I knocked him down to 15 pound and then when I went to Canterbury I saw it for 12 pound so a little bit gutted on that one but I paid that little bit extra but it's because I haven't seen it and when you when you don't see it you, you end up buying it because it was the last one of my uh, micro machines over there so I've got all of them except for that one I'm going to get another shelf, but not till payday because I can't afford it. Uh, here's another one I got at Play Expo, and I just had to get this, and that's Syndicate. And the reason I had to get it is because uh, I had it on the PlayStation 1, or my friend Clinton had it on the PlayStation 1, and we would play this all the time. So I just, I just had to get it because it was very nostalgic. And I didn't even know Syndicate was on the Mega Drive. I thought, I thought it came straight to the PlayStation 1 and PC. I didn't realise... They've done the Mega Drive version. Obviously, it's going to be knocked down and that, but, you know, we'll give it a go. Muhammad Ali, heavyweight box in there. Quite cool. We will see, maybe. Um, yeah, number one is not on the Mega Drive, but number two definitely is, and that's Space Harrier 2. We got there. <laughs> this one, virtually given away. But that's what people, you know, if people don't like it, that's fine, I'll take it, because I don't have it in my collection, and that's international rugby there. And as you can see, it was in a uh, game station for one ninety nine, and uh, I thought it was somewhere else before that, but no. So I don't know what I paid for that. <laughs> that was just in the bundle, to be honest. And uh, there we go, £3 for this one. That's uh, Lotus 2 Rex, which uh, I don't have in my collection. And it looks quite nice, and it's also two-player split screen, which is uh, always an advantage. Uh, now this, obviously, I've got in the Mega Games 1, but I didn't have the actual one itself boxed, so that's what I wanted, which is Alien Storm. And again, you know, you've got Golden Axe on there as well, which I don't have yet. Uh, this is uh, Wonder Boy 3, Monster's Lair. And I think... No, no, it's hands. I, I was thinking that, 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 that here there has been a sticker and it discolored, but no, it's it's sort of hands in, in the graphics, and I don't know, they've done something funny with the graphics there. Uh, this is a nice one, and cheap as well, which I was surprised at. They only, char they only had £6 for this one, which is uh, World of Illusion, Mickey and Donald. And uh, I, I thought that would have gone for more than £6, so I think that was a good buy to get. Uh, we've got e swap there, which is uh, a nice game, uh, sort of like uh, Robocop when you're going along there. Revenge of Shinobi. Mm, I don't think I have the first one. Uh, no, no. So I don't, I don't have the first Shinobi. So there's Revenge of Shinobi. I have to check if uh, it's even in the list of a. Uh, this I've never heard of. Uh, this is. Looks almost like Duke Nukem on the guy on here. And that's called uh, Forgotten Worlds. But uh, yeah, the guy looks very much like old Duke there. <laughs> Alright then, here's another Spider-Man game. And this is uh, Spider-Man vs. X-Men. Or Spider-Man and X-Men vs. Uh, uh, some... Something or other, not there. And I don't know why the, the guy was really quoting this one, saying, oh, it's a great game, but I don't know. Not played it, not heard of it. So that's uh, Thunder Force 2. 
Right, so that's it for the uh, that's it for the Mega Drive games. Now, the, I'll, I'll explain how the next pickup happened if you're still watching. And what happened was uh, I was at a club after Play Expo, and this was the Fab Cafe, and there was a game in there called Oculus Rift, and it's a 3D virtual reality game. And when I say virtual reality, I mean you put the headset on, and when you turn your head. You're, mo you're moving the right thumbstick on a controller. That's basically it. So where you look is where you go. And then your other stick is just forward and backward. So you look and then you push forwards and, and strafe. Anyway, so uh, I played this game and uh, I got a certain score and forgot about it. Now the thing that was being quoted was the winner of the game got uh, a PS Vita. Now... What happened was that I misheard, and I thought that the uh, raffle that they were doing was for a PS Vita. So there was two things going on. You had the raffle, and you had the Oculus Rift. So I, I entered both, didn't win anything in the raffle. So I went back to the Oculus Rift. I said, you know, am I winning? And Because uh, I thought I was getting this other item, and I really wanted it. So, And he said, no, 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 you, you, you haven't. And I said, oh, okay, I'll have another go. So I had another go. And it's all for charity, you know, as, as you do. And it was like £2 ago, so I didn't mind. Uh, and, you know, I got another low score again. And uh, I said, right, I've got, I've got to have another go. So I had one more go, and I, I could just could not get a higher score. And basically what I was watching was that the score was going up just by you walking. And I thought, well, if all I'm doing is walking, why the hell has everyone got a higher score than me? So as, as I finished the, uh, the third go... <laughs> The guy says to me, well, you know, it's because you missed a few diamonds. I said, what diamonds? He says there's little pink gems everywhere. It says you missed the one in the case, and you missed the one here, and you missed the one there. I was like, I didn't, oh my God, is that what I'm meant to be doing? <laughs> I didn't even know what I was meant to be doing. So, I mean, most of the diamonds I'd picked up by accident because they were on the path of where you're walking, so you have no choice but to pick them up. So I just thought, oh, I'm picking them up. I didn't realise I was actually meant to be picking them up. I'm like, right, now I know what I'm doing. I'll have one more go. So I had one more go, and this time I purposely picked up the diamonds. And out of all the diamonds, I missed one. And that's because it was in a case. And as you got close to the case, it just shut. And it was like, oh, right, I'm not getting that one. But all the rest were on tables and things, and I noticed where they were, so I, I went and picked them up. Um, and sure enough, I got the highest score. And I was like, well, so I bloody should after all this. So there was one more guy behind me. He was completely pissed, so he got virtually nothing. Anyway, so all the names are scribbled on a piece of paper. So they're doing the raffle, and this is where the confusion came. They're doing the raffle, and the guy pulls out the item that I think I meant to have won. And he's put it between his legs, and he goes, and the next prize in the raffle, or the final prize, is... And I was like, so I ran over to him, so oi, 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 hold up. And I must have been, well, I was drunk, so obviously I didn't care. Um, I says, no, 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 that, that prize is for the winner of the game over there. He goes, oh, are you sure? And then, and then the guy running it, the guy running it next to him says to me, are you sure? I says, yeah, I'm sure. That's for the winner over there. You, you've got to give something else away for this one. He goes, oh, right, I, for that for that game over there, I had something else planned. And this is during the announcement, so I've just walked over. It's crazy. So they go, okay, then, uh, this, this item's now gone uh, because it's for something else. So the next, uh, so the next raffle prize um, is a PS Vita. So they pull out the Vita and they give that away to whoever won the raffle. And they said, right, now it's time for the winner of Oculus Rift. And uh, and for that, we've got this prize. And uh, and the winner is... And they called out somebody else's name. I was like, what? And I turned to my friend. I was like, what? And I looked over to the guy running it. I was like, what's going on? And he puts his hands up and says, I don't know, you're going to have to speak to the guy. Anyway, in that time... The guy's name that they called out has run over, picked it up, and run off into the crowd. Being it's a nightclub, he's fucking disappeared. I was like, whoa, 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 what just happened? So I run back over to him. I said, hey, hey, what's going on? I said, I won that game. He says, are you sure? I said, yeah, I'm sure. I had enough goes to make sure I won it. And uh, he goes, oh, I just I just called out the, the one with the arrow pointing to his name. I was like, show me. And he gets out the, the score sheet. And he points. And I said, no, no, no. That's not an arrow. That's crossed out. I said, he's got the lowest score. I said, look down further. My name, 18,000. 
his name 6,000. I says, what are you doing? You've just given it away to the loser. He goes, oh, right. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so he just he just runs off into the crowd. A couple of seconds later, he's back and he's brought the box back. And I was like, oh, right. Thanks. He's like, he's brought it back to me. He goes, there you go. And I was like, I said, did, did the guy mind? And he says, oh, well, you know, I've got to give him a consolation prize so he can come over and pick whatever's left. And there was like Omega Drive 3 and, and some other controllers and gaming stuff that just sitting on. And it was like he could just pick whatever he wanted. So, you know, he was happy. And his mates were like, oh, right. Oh, all right. What are you having out of him for? And I was like, he says, what score did you get? And I said, I got 18,000. He's like, oh, yeah, you did get a higher score. Anyway, so long story short, five minutes of blabbing, but I ended up with this by accident. I was actually meant to win a PS Vita, and what I won was a couple of games and uh, a Saturn boxed. And when I say boxed, it's sealed. Well, sealed in as much as I'm going to unbox it. Sealed as much as the cardboard has been opened, but that's the only thing that's been opened. The actual... Oh, it's tight. Oh. I'll show you this. This is, this is very nice. The actual satin itself has never been opened. This is... This is the warranty cards. You know, the instructions, sealed, never opened. The actual satin, sealed, never opened. All of the peripherals, look, factory sealed still. And look, it comes with a, it comes with a uh, scart lead, very nice. Very nice scart lead there, which I'm desperate to open so I can plug in my other satin. And then you've got the controller and, and everything. And uh, yeah. So, wasn't that nice? Uh, I'll put that back in a sec. So, I won the Saturn from winning the Oculus Rift game. And I, uh, and I got a couple games with it. Virtual, Virtual Fighter 2, which uh, obviously is the better one. And, um, and Sega Rally. So, there you go. Very, very nice. Uh, and both of them, you know, as new. So, very, a very nice prize. For a very, very nice night. It was a, an absolutely amazing night. I got absolutely hammered, made a complete arse of myself. And when I do the expo video, I will show you what an arse I made of myself. It was, uh, I, I, I fell asleep in my kebab and uh, spilt a pint of beer over my mate and uh, got done some strange stuff with the Sega box. I mean, it was a bit crazy, but I was drunk. That's my excuse. But anyway, once my videos have uh, rendered, then I'll be able to actually edit them. But for now, thanks.